Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you. With a crawler. Well, I don't know what that was for. Or not what it was for, what it was about. Uh, this is Old Heights. Old Heights Brewing. It is their porch porch tour I don't remember what the name of it is but it looks like porch tour porch toe I can't tell if that is a U R or W but it is a cream ale it is 6% alcohol by volume and this was filled last night less than 24 hours ago I think No, just over 24 hours ago, I think. I don't know what time it is. So <clears throat> It was filled right around um, 6.30, I think. Or no. 7.30. 7.30-ish. A little before 7.30. That is a bright yellow, bright golden, sunny, just over a finger of soapy white head. And yeah. I feel like 6% might be a little high for a little higher ABV than typical cream ale, but whatevs. Yeah. So it looks good. Let's see what it smells like. This is giving me uh yeah, there is a malty comes off like a pilsner. <clears throat> but there is like this touch of I don't There is like this sweetness in there. I don't know if they put lactose in this. It didn't say that it had lactose on the thing when I ordered it. Or at least I didn't see that it had lactose on it. Um, but there is like this touch of... Uh, there's like this creaminess that comes off a little... Uh, vanilla y marshmallow kind of milk kind of thing. I don't know. Smells. Smells interesting. I'll say that. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, <clears throat> you're getting that malt character. Kind of tastes like a Pilsner. And then there's like this weird kind of vanilla-y kind of. Like at first it kind of comes off like vanilla or uh, like marshmallow or something. And I, I don't know if it's lactose though. But yeah, it first comes off like vanilla marshmallowy, and then like it evolves into like this like weird milk thing. I 
And for uh, <clears throat> for anyone watching this, I'm sure that sounds exactly like lactose, but uh. I don't know. I hope there's no lactose in this. Yeah. I mean, that's good. <clears throat> I don't know if... There's a nice bitterness to it. Nice hoppiness to it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's not super flashy. Um, as a cream ale is not that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Shit all over this glass. Fuck. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just my palate. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, <clears throat> uh, but uh, oh, I was gonna say before. Um, yeah, it, this might, this could maybe use like, just like a, bringing it down a notch. Like, I'm assuming, I'm assuming they don't put like uh, sugar or anything in this to bring the ABV up. So, but I don't know. That's just my opinion, man. Not bad beer though. Even though I was the that one thing that I was describing, like it, it, <clears throat> it's not bad. Well, when when it comes off like that weird milk thing, it's kind of weird, but but it's not bad. Just kind of wasn't expecting it. Um, And that maltiness just makes it come off like a non lagered pilsner. Um, di digest and vent a style. An ale pilsner. There you go. Pretty soon, people are going to start lagering their sour ales or some shit. <clears throat> uh, or maybe they already do. I have no idea. Um, so, yeah. So this is... It's it's growing on me a little bit. Like, usually with cream ales, like, the first sip and the last sip are kind of the same. But this one... Just need to come around to a little bit. 
Yeah. There's a weird thing in there. Or maybe it's unintentional. Maybe it's not supposed to be in there. Who knows? <clears throat> but yeah, I've been talking about this cream ale for too long. So I will wrap it up. Um, so yeah. Uh, this place is like an hour and a half-ish from here, I think. Um, <clears throat> this was, it was only the second time I had been there because they did the black is beautiful last year. And I went down and just grabbed, I grabbed some black is beautiful. And I think I grabbed like a couple other four packs, <laughs> but, um, uh, I was going to say something. Oh, but yeah, if you're, uh, old, really Heights town. I know the, yeah, Heightstown, Heightstown, New Jersey. If you're down, they're like central-ish New Jersey or south north Jersey, if you don't believe in central Jersey. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I had uh, the beer I had last night. Actually, I have another crowler that I don't know if I'm going to get into tonight. I'll probably, do, no, I'll probably drink it tomorrow. But um. But yeah, I've I've enjoyed I've enjoyed all the beers that I've had from them. Some of them were I I remember having it was like a triple it's like a triple sour hazy IPA or something. That one was unique. Actually, I don't know. I might have reviewed that actually. I don't know if I had that when I had a channel. Oh no! You can go look it up. I might have, I might have reviewed that. <clears throat> that might have been like early, or right around a year ago, maybe. Because I think I got it from Matt from Mass and Beers. I don't know. I'm rambling. So yeah. Uh, if you're in the area or passing through Heightstown, New Jersey, I recommend. Uh, stopping and checking them out. But uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93 Lumber. That's spelled out 93 Lumber. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <clears throat>